In this episode, we'll be using Video Maker Magazine in an article by Eric Fritz, a freelance writer, photographer, and filmmaker. The Kuleshov Effect, Understanding Video Editing's Most Powerful Tool. The Kuleshov Effect influences every film and every filmmaker. Understanding it can give insight to movie magic and create the meaning you want expressed in your project. The Kuleshov Effect is the single most important concept to editing, if not to filmmaking itself. It's a cornerstone of visual storytelling. Through this phenomenon, we can suggest meaning and manipulate space as well as time. It is a fundamental aspect of movie magic, one which every filmmaker needs to understand. Kuleshov and Film Theory Lev Kuleshov was a Russian filmmaker considered by some to be the first film theorist due to his work dating to the 1910s. Kuleshov asked the question, what made cinema a distinct art separate from photography, literature, or theater? He found that any form of art consists of two things, the material itself and the way in which the material is organized. Following this logic, Kuleshev found that the organization of individual shots, also known as montage, is what makes film stand apart. In 1921, Kuleshev set up a series of cinematic demonstrations which gave the phenomenon its name. In these experiments, he projected the face of a well-known actor, then cut to a plate of soup. He then showed another shot of the same actor, then a girl in a coffin. The final sequence was the actor's face, then an attractive young woman. Audience responded that the actor seemed in the first sequence to be hungry, in the second quite mournful, and finally seemed to exude lust. In reality, all three shots of the actor were exactly the same. His face was interpreted differently based on what it was put next to in the edit. Additionally, even though there was no establishing shot of the actor together with objects from the other shots, they seemed to the audience to be in close proximity to one another. Through the ordering of the shots, two separate places seemed to be one whole continuous location to the audience. Manipulating space and time was possible through the use of editing. This was a huge moment for cinema, with Kuleshov declaring montage to be the central principle that defines film as an art on its own. Kuleshov's theories were instrumental in the creation of a powerful genre of filmmaking, Soviet montage, which was eventually suppressed under Stalin. But the Kuleshov effect lives on exemplified in almost every film or video that we encounter. An example. The following series of stills from The Wolf of Wall Street demonstrates the Kuleshov effect in practice. Notice that the exact same shot of Leonardo DiCaprio can take on a different meaning depending on the shot next to it in the montage. This is the original sequence of shots from the film. DiCaprio is seen driven by lust, also, although there is nothing showing the two actors together, we see them as being in the same room. Here, by replacing just the second image, DiCaprio's tone seems more somber, almost mournful of the damaged luxury vehicle. The difference in backgrounds makes condensing space more problematic, but the inclusion of an angle from the first image to the second gives the impression that DiCaprio could be looking out a window to see the mangled car. Again, the exact same shot of Leonardo DiCaprio, but here he seems hungry, clearly transfixed on the donuts. Again, although we don't see them together in one shot, it seems that DiCaprio and the donuts are together in the same room. In each case, through the Kuleshov effect, the audience creates and imposes their own meaning onto uninflicted individual shots. What does that mean for me? Understanding the Kuleshov effect allows editors to better control the tone and meaning found in their films. Through the choices in how shots are organized and sequenced, filmmakers can create new meaning by juxtaposing unrelated images. With the illusion of condensing space, we are able to create new worlds, connecting places that were previously separate. 
Thus, the Kuleshov effect is a huge part of the magic that is film. Sidebar Russian film theorists in the early 1900s were hugely influential in shaping how cinema was to develop. They saw film as a powerful tool of social transformation, inherently political and inextricably linked to the filmmaker's worldview. Kuleshov's contemporaries explored the power of montage and their innovations paved the way for contemporary filmmakers. Sergei Eisenstein promoted the idea that the essential element of all art is conflict. Eisenstein advocated dialectic montage, that a sequence of shots can have more meaning than the sum of its individual parts. He was inspired by his study of Japanese kanji, which juxtaposed two concepts to create a new third concept. Eisenstein's films, Battleship Potemkin, 1925, and Strike, 1925, are both classics of Russian cinema. Ziga Vertov eschewed dramatic films as a corrupting influence. An early experimenter in the realm of documentary, Vertov pioneered many modern staples of filmmaking in his newsreels. In 2014, Sight and Sound named his film Man with a Movie Camera, 1929, the best documentary ever. Now, what if you want to create your own Kuleshov effect video? You're going to need a number of shots, and you may want to consider some transitions and some special effects. The first shot you will need is your actor close-up. You will need to choose one close-up to use for all three effects. That said, it is highly recommended you film more than one shot with more than one expression. You will be able to choose the one clip that you find most compelling. Now, choose a clip that is compelling and dynamic. Whichever clip you choose should have enough expression to work for more than one emotional response. And watch for continuity. Make sure the eyes are pointing in a believable direction. Also, watch the background, choosing one that works for multiple stimuli. Next, you're going to want three stimuli close-ups. Choose three subjects people, places, or things that can be paired with your actor close-ups. They should be three different stimuli that invoke three completely different responses when matched with your actor shot. The default emotional responses you hope to create are hunger, lust, longing, and sorrow. When paired with your one chosen actor close-up, you should be able to manipulate the audience to feel these three emotions. You may experiment and choose alternate emotions, but make sure to choose three different emotions to invoke. Watch for continuity. Make sure the object is in a believable location to match the eyes of the actor. Also, watch the background, choosing one that makes sense with your actor's clip. Something that you might also include? Transitions and title slides. Create a title slide that introduces and names your entire project. You may use your first or last name and the word effect to create a simple title if you would like. For example, my video might be called the Sturpy Effect. Do not create transitions that distract, confuse, or take away from your montage of clips. Create closing credits to thank any person involved. Acknowledge music and identify any people, yourself included, who might star in your video. And you might include music to create mood. Feel free to provide one or more soundtracks for your clip or clips. Music should be royalty-free, like music from a site like Incompotech or Bensound. All music must be appropriately cited in your movie credits. So that's it for this episode of Be the Teacher. Now you know about the Kuleshov effect. You know that it is part of the film history and has influenced a number of filmmakers, both past and present. You know that the Kuleshov effect will allow you to better control the tone and meaning that you create in your film. You also explored an example of the Kuleshov effect with Leonardo DiCaprio and his movie The Wolf of Wall Street. You also found out what the Kuleshov effect was, a powerful instrument called montage first written about by Lev Kuleshov in the 1910s. And you know that you can use the Kuleshov effect to create movie magic. So that's it for this episode of Be the Teacher. We'd like to thank Eric Fritz 
for his amazing article published in Video Maker Magazine. And we hope to see you next time on Be the Teacher. <laughs>